Well, we're getting close to Halloween. Yes, Halloween is around the corner. Although it's still September, it is actually getting really close to um, October. It's the end of September. And what better way to celebrate October and Halloween than talking about Scooby-Doo? I love Scooby-Doo. I like Scooby-Doo so much. It's finally nice to finally get back and reviewing something that isn't Velma because, you know, I mean, who, who, who doesn't like, I mean, who doesn't, you know, hate Velma? I sure do. It's so nice to finally go back to something I actually like. Technically, I think I've been reviewing on Velma for a little... I mean, that was actually a few months ago when I reviewed Velma. But, anywho, I'm here now to review an episode of What's New Scooby-Doo. Um, this, this is the episode called Rustling Maniacs or something like that. Um, so, you guys know the drill. If you guys want to be notified for future videos, hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell. And that way you guys can be notified for future videos. And, um, one thing before I, well, two things before I, um, before I go, I mean, before I go on to the review, I actually finally got, I finally got a, I finally hit 300 subs. Yes, I hit 300 subs. Don't worry, the reward videos are coming. The top, the first top 10 video and, um, the, Sp the Spongebob review are coming. Um, yeah, they are coming, um, but, um, but they're still... But they're, they're gonna take a little bit because, um, because I, ha I had to watch all the episodes of Spongebob and all that and I gotta make the title cards and all that. So hopefully I'll have it ready for maybe tomorrow or, um, or Thursday. Um, the, the, the top ten might take, might be until next week because, um, I gotta make the top ten and all that. And that, that's gonna take a little while because I gotta go through, you know, a certain amount of list and then put them in order. So that might take a little while. And then I got the honorable mentions and all that. So that might take a little while. But I'm gonna try to at least get the first reward video done for you guys this week. And the second thing I wanna mention is I keep forgetting to mention this. I really do every time I make a review. I keep forgetting to mention the score sound effect. For people who are curious to why there hasn't been a score sound effect, well, um, honestly, the thing is, though, I, I've recorded the score sound effect thing on my memory cards and stuff. I've recorded it um, in the past. The problem is I've got so many memory cards and all that. Um, I've got so many of them and all that, and, uh, and uh, you know, like, having to go through all of them, not every memory card I have, you know, actually record the sound effect. I'm actually going to probably be putting it on, on something else besides that. Um, I want to record it again, but this time putting on something else. But to do that, I need to, like, get the PlayStation 3 uh, connected to the TV again. I have not gotten to that, so... Um, so yeah, but I'm hoping to get to that soon, and then there will be a score sound effect again. But until then, there will be no score sound effect. But anywho, now that I got those two things out of the way, now let's go ahead and talk about this, um, episode. The episode, I'm um, called, um, WrestleManiacs. So, WrestleManiacs, um, what is this episode about? Well, apparently it's about Fred, um, excited to go to, to... Rest, he's excited to go to wrestling and all that, um, because he wants to see, because he's a wrestling guy, you know, and all that, um. Honestly, they kind of make Fred more of a goofball in, in this show, and I kind of like that. I'm not gonna lie, some people might, might be upset because Fred was not really a goofball, but I think it gives Fred more of a personality. I mean, I like him here, he's not, he's just not, he's not a, a doofus. He does have doofus moments, but they don't make him completely you know, idiotic like they do in Mr. Incorporated and all that. But I, but I do, but I, but I mean, I'm not saying characters can't be stupid, but I, I don't think Fred really should be stupid, I mean, and all that, but, but they do make some good jokes with him and all that, but, but yeah, so they basically, um, they basically, um, go, go to this, um, um, stadium or something to watch, um, people before now, I gotta say, though, I'm not really the big wrestling type myself. Um, I did used to watch wrestling when I was a toddler and all that. When we had, like, Dish and all that. Those were the days. I'm not gonna lie, I mean, Dish was kind of expensive, but I kind of miss watching Dish. It was so cool back then. All the channels, like Boomerang and all that. 
Speaking of Boomerang, that's actually where I watched this sh this show was on Boomerang. Um, they play more they play more Scooby Doo or Are You because um because at that time um they didn't really have it on. I mean, I guess they had take that back. I think they did have they did have to watch new Scooby Doo on there, but it wasn't on there like, a lot and all that. Um, they played mostly the original show, but it was still kind of cool when it came on. But yeah, I did. We did watch like uh, we did watch wrestling and all that too, and all that. We watched cops and stuff. So we watched a lot of stuff. Um, but yeah, but Scooby Doo was a thing I watched, and I mean, I, I think it was somewhat it was somewhat entertaining, you know, because in, in rest the wrestling um show they I think it's called WWE or something like that. They don't actually real wrestle; it's fake wrestling. So, but it, it's it's fake wrestling. So they're basically wrestling and all that, and uh, you know. It's, it's just supposed to be fake. I think in this this episode, it's supposed to be real wrestling. So, yeah. But anywho, they were going to go watch the wrestling thing. Apparently, then they run into something. Apparently, people are complaining about a monster. A monster, um... I guess, terrorizing people or something. And, uh, you know, that's how the Scooby-Doo show works. You know, you gotta have a monster in there. It's so funny that they that they run into all these monsters and stuff coincidentally, you know. <laughs> I feel bad for Shaggy and Scooby, I really do. They just want to have some fun and all that, and then they gotta run into a monster. But um, yeah, they basically they apparently there's a monster that attack because it revealed at the beginning of the episode and all that. And uh, apparently this monster is not none other known than the Titanic Twist. Who is the Titanic Twist? You may ask. Well. Let's just say, and we got, so far, let's go over the monsters we fa we faced on this review so far. We have Velma's Hallucinations from the Velma show. Um, again, I don't want to talk too much about that, but those were kind of interesting. And then we have, um, we had Minor 49er, we had, um, I guess we had punk punking robotic monsters. And we had a ghost from that Halloween that, that, that came from both, that, they both came from that. Halloween, you know, show, I mean, episode of What's New Scooby-Doo, we had, like, a, an ice monster, and then we have a, a, a ape who, um, apparently is supposed to be, he just looks like a normal ape from the wild, so what can this possibly be? Maybe this monster might look cool. Oh my god, what the hell is this thing supposed to be? Apparently this is supposed to be the Titanic Twist. I gotta say, this thing, I'm not gonna lie, this thing is freaking ugly. Like, I'm not gonna lie, the thing, like, I mean, this thing is supposed to be freaking, I mean, it, 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 it's just, I don't know, it just looks ugly. Like, it's not ugly like the, the hillbilly designs from, from like, the season 7 episode of, um, of Spongebob that I reviewed for my uh, 200 episode review, um, you know, special and all that, which, by the way, I did do that, so if you guys want to check that out, you guys can. But it's still a hideous design. Like, I mean, look at him. Like, he's got, he's got two arms on one hand. I mean, w which makes sense because if you guys don't know, apparently, um, I'll get back to the design in a second. But I want to take, just say this real quick. Apparently, the origins of this monster apparently, um, goes to, um, the Titanic Twist. Apparently, its name is based off of a wrestling move. Where apparently, um, it was outlawed, I guess, years ago, and apparently it was used only once because of how dangerous it was, but basically, apparently there's this wrestler guy, and all that. he basically gets killed. They don't really, I guess they don't really say if he gets killed or not, but I'm gonna assume he died because he, he got freaking crippled and, and all that, and his bones got crushed, so I'm gonna assume the other guy killed them, which is very dark. Very dark, I'm not gonna lie, when I watch this... I told you guys I'm not the biggest fan of wrestling. Um, I think it's somewhat entertaining, but I would never do wrestling. And after watching this episode, this definitely makes me not want to do wrestling. Cause not not only not only we have um we have this this guy here apparently that's a that's a ghost of um a guy who got freaking crippled and probably killed again. They don't really say if he did, but there's also like, reveal. A character later down the road who um broke his leg, I guess, from yeah, got it injured from wrestling. So, I mean, I'm not gonna say you can that that the Titanic twist move would would, would work like. That. I mean, it can, it can work, but I doubt anyone's gonna actually do that in real life. But it still it still it still scares people and all that. It sure scared me when I saw this as a child. It freaking traumatized me. But that's nothing compared to the freaking design of this thing. I get he's supposed to have two arms on one side, but like... 
like, 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 why, like, why is his, like, eyes, like, look at his eyes, like, he's got no nose, his freaking ear is, like, on top of his head, his other ear is, like, on that, and then, like, he just, I mean, he doesn't look awful, like, he's not awful looking, but, like, I just, I don't, I just don't like his design that much, he's, like, I mean, I'll think I'll take that, that, like, ape, ape man, you know, guy over this guy, I mean, surely he was just a, a typical ape, like I said, looked like he was from the wild, but at least he looks freaking better than this thing. But anywho, apparently this thing is kidnapping um, wrestlers and all that, and then, um, and, you know, and all that, um, apparently we have two, two girls, um, well, I mean, I mean, we have a girl and a son that's also, um, who is probably not, I mean, probably, probably not, um, suspicious at all, but apparently want to keep their dad from, you know, entering the race because they don't want him to get hurt. So, I mean, yeah, that's not suspicious at all. And then we got, like, a, you know, a big guy. Like I, I told you, this big guy, he sells candy now. Apparently, he sells black li licorice. Um, which, by the way, I, I'm not going to lie, I hate black licorice. I don't know, I, I mean, I, I know some people like the candy, but I've tried it. It's not, like, awful, but it, 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 it doesn't taste good at all. Believe me, I had things that tasted awful, but black licorice is still not a good, good taste. It definitely tastes... It doesn't taste very good, but apparently he was out at black licorice, so you know, and all that. But yeah, that's the guy that that's the big tall guy that apparently broke his I mean, his, his knee or something. So, so I don't know, but yeah, it's just like I mean, it's, like I said, there's some there's some suspects that here and all that, so they make it kind of they do make it kind of hard to you know, they make it kind of somewhat you know, difficult to, you know, guess who it is, but, but basically the monster has two designs and all that, so, um, yeah, basically he has two designs, so, um, but yes, basically he has two designs, so he's, um, you know, um, I mean, two designs, I mean, two arms on one side, so, you know, so he basically, you know, he, he's able to, like, pick up people, and all. I still think it's crazy how, how the person inside of him, you know, is able to pick up, you know, freaking people and all that like it's nothing it's just crazy but apparently he eventually gets Fred and all that and um and all that and um when he gets Fred and basically they um he basically you know apparently ends up in a pretzel room for some reason on the ladder's a pretzel room and then Shaggy and Scooby eat their way to it and find Fred so I don't know, I mean, there, there's a lot going on in this episode, there is, um, probably one of my fa my favorite moments is, though, has to be, like, Vel Velma and, and, and Daphne, like, getting mocked by these lesbian girls, who are clearly, I think, are lesbian, I'm, they, they, mo they mock, they mock them saying they're two girly girls and all that, like, I don't really get it, but, I mean, I mean, come on, just because they're girly girls doesn't mean they can't be good fighters, you know? I'm not gonna lie. When I was watching this, I had a visual of what wanting to be there on their team, and, and and you know, you know, and all that, and like you know, be. I mean, just take take down those lesbian girls. <laughs> I'm not kidding. I'm really was like that. You know, when I watch TV, sometimes my mind zones and all that. You know, it does it quite a bit. You know, I don't know. Uh, I mean, I don't know, but. Basically, though, it's kind of, I mean, it is kind of funny how they basically are mocking them and all that. They have, like, a couple lines, and that's about it, but, but I don't know, but it, it, it is kind of funny and all that. And we got a hologram, apparently, that, that takes, takes out Velma. It's pretty funny, but there, there are some stuff that's going on, but unfortunately, there really isn't a whole, whole lot to this. There really isn't, honestly. There, there's not a whole lot to this, but, um... But there is some there is some jokes in here and all that, but but I, I wouldn't say this episode is really um again it's not really you know something that I think a lot of people will be like you know like like look look at this it's, it's such a great episode and all that you know I mean it, it is something we don't usually see on Scooby Doo too much usually we find them in like a swamp or something you know but it is something that's a little bit different but. I still don't think it's it's as unique and all that. I mean, there again, there the monster, despite him looking hideous and all that. I still think he's an interesting, somewhat villain and all that. And remember, remember, guys, remember I said to the um in the beginning, of, well, somewhat like about partway in the in the video, I talked about the suspects that 
Well, apparently it reveals that the um the suspects are um apparently are are on the the two kids that were protecting the father. Yeah, I mean it's pretty obvious. I mean I was kind of trying to make it not sound. I mean I was trying to you know I was kind of hinting there and all that how they're like like they're they're basically trying to show, make it look like they're not the, the suspects, but they really are. Yeah, they are. They they are the ones who are behind it. Um, they are behind the um. The um, you know, um, attacks and all that, and um, they are doing this all because they are um, you know, um, wanting to protect their father. Which, I mean, it's kind of sweet. It is kind of sweet, except for one scene. They fr freaking Titanic twist, which is them, by the way, freaking pushes a, a trailer down. You know, like freaking kills Sh Scooby and Shaggy and all that. By the way, Shaggy was knocked out because he accidentally had um the, the knockout gas they were using on their foes and all that. So, um, I mean, I mean again, I'm, I'm, I like I like the whole fodder feeder, but I kind of wish like maybe they would have maybe Titanic Twisted didn't know that the that they were both in there maybe you know because maybe Titanic Twist is is trying to knock the trailer down and destroy it so so that that way they um. That way, they people don't don't discover um you know the you know the the gas in there and all that. I don't know. I mean, again, it's just um, it's just kind it's just kind of you know, it's kind of you know like I said, it's kind of strange and all that. Like how I mean, it makes it kind of look the kids look like they're actually you know, it makes it it, it kind of I mean they kind of just jump over the the the, the thing because even the game even knew knew because because Scooby you know. Scooby t told them that, you know, that they were, they, that Titanic Twist basically knocked the trailer down and almost killed them, so, I don't know. I kind of wish, like I said, it would make them, make them, you know, a lot more innocent and all that, because this, that's the problem with this show. A, a lot of times they'll do this, they'll make the monsters innocent, and they're doing it for a reason, but they, but they won't, you know. Well, they'll do it, you know, they'll, they'll like, have a reason why they're doing it and all that, but they basically, um, you know... But like you know, to protect something, but usually the the monster ends up trying to kill them or something at the same time. So they it's kind of you know it makes them look like they're still bad guys. You know, I don't know. But I don't know. There's not really a whole lot to say about this episode. I think I'm gonna go ahead and give this a score. So this is gonna get a meh and 55 points. Yeah, I mean this. Like I said, this episode is not really that memorable, but there's not really a lot of things I can say that are bad about it. Besides, you know, besides, you know, um, you know, um, maybe scarring some kids for life when it comes to wrestling and, you know, Titanic Twist, you know, knocking the trailer down and looking very hideous. I think otherwise, you know, otherwise it's, it's not really that bad of an episode. I think... I think that it's still it's still interesting and all that. I, I definitely went and watch this all the time, but it's still interesting. I still think it's it's definitely interesting. Um, I don't think it's frustrating like 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 you know. Um, I don't think it's frustrating like um you know, the Halloween episodes from this this show. I think that one was more frustrating. I mean that one was still somewhat interesting, but it was still frustrating. And then at least the monster is somewhat more interesting than a, just an, an ape man. I still think I prefer the ape man because at least his, his design doesn't look very horrifying to look at. But like I said, I think I've joked about that qu uh, quite enough, you know, and all that. But I don't know. But I still think at least they're, they're, they try to at least, you know, make it a real monster instead of just, like I said, just making a random animal. But... I don't know. Speaking of animals, they do this concept down the road again in a movie, and I think they do a lot a better job with it. Honestly, the monster is actually a bear, which I told you guys I was a, an actual animal, and I think they do a lot better with it. But this, but this one's still this one's still really good. I still like it. Um, it's it's still interesting, honestly. But I don't know. I just don't think it's. I don't think it's as good, you know, as episodes I've reviewed in the past, but I still think it's, I think it's still, be I would still think it's better, I, like, I'd rank it higher than the Halloween episode. Now, now, ranking it higher than the Ape Man, I'm not sure, because while the Ape Man episode, or whatever that was called from the, the original series, that one, like I said, the monster doesn't look, it's just, it doesn't look like a monster at all. 
it's still, like I said, it's still, um, you know, it still have like, a story and stuff to it. They still have a story and, and all that, and, um, they actually have a re- they actually make the- they actually, you know, the, the monster's supposed to be a bad guy in a mask instead of just trying to make- trying to, you know, make them look innocent when, again, they- they, they basically- they, these p- kids here almost kill Shaggy and Scooby. So, I don't know. I mean, I just think this one's not as much of a slob to get through as that one. I mean, the other one, again, it's not bad either, but like I said, it's just not as good as, like, I mean, it's got, it's not as well put together as this one, but I don't know. They're, they're both, they're both, you know, they're both just alright episodes. But I think you're pro- if, if you're gonna, if you're gonna want to watch, um, you know, something that's somewhat interesting, you're probably gonna get more out, out of the original series, um, episode with the, um, with, with the eight man and all that, but if you're, if you're wanting an episode where you're gonna, where it makes more sense and all that, you're probably gonna watch this one, honestly, I don't know, but, but I don't know what to really say here, honestly, it's just, this, ep- this review is kind of short, but there really isn't much to say about this episode, this episode's just, it's just alright, I don't think they're, it's just wrestling is all it is, it's not like, there's not really much about it, I mean, the, the gang's been in a lot better locations and all that, but, I don't know. But anywho, guys, I'm going to go ahead and let things go from here. See you all next time. Anywho, bye-bye.